the shrimp farming industry an overview Shrimp is a high value seafood commodity in the international market. The major consumers of shrimp are the European countries, United States and Japan. Shrimp is farmed in more than 30 countries. The prominent shrimp producing countries are Thailand, Indonesia, Vietnam, China and India. Globally, India is the fifth largest farmed shrimp producer. To meet international standards, shrimp produced should be antibiotic free using eco-friendly, sustainable shrimp farming methods. By producing high quality shrimps, the sector would be able to penetrate into premium markets and achieve an even higher financial gain. The major problems in uh, small scale aqua farmers are acquiring good quality inputs like seed and uh, the major obstruction in uh, doing aquaculture is spread of diseases also. It is very difficult for small scale farmers to solve these problems in unorganized sector. In order to tackle these challenges, the Marine Products Export Development Authority MPEDA, established an institution called National Center for Sustainable Aquaculture that works together with farmers and the stakeholders in the shrimp sector. NAGSA is an outreach organization of MPEDA that aims to service the small-scale aquaculture sector through technical support to the primary aquaculture societies and build capacity among small farmers to produce quality products in a sustainable manner. The chairman MPEDA is the ex-officio president of the NAXA. The organization is headed by a chief executive officer, CEO. NAXA's headquarters is in Kakinada with regional units in various coastal states. There are some important things in shrimp farming. The first is to maintain farmer unity through organized societies. As a society, common problems faced by farmers can be reduced, mainly disease, getting quality inputs and market access. Farmer Society is a group of 20 to 50 CAA registered aqua farmers in a farming cluster or locality that provides an opportunity to the members of the cluster to organize themselves to implement and manage the aquaculture activities through participatory approach in order to accomplish their common goal of reducing risks, maximizing returns and meeting market demands through sustainable shrimp farming. Society is managed by office bearers which includes the president selected by farmers, a secretary, treasurers and the rest of the farmers are members of the society. The society has to be registered with the registrar of societies. Their accounts are also audited by government officials. Implementation of BMPs through societies. NAXA organize a society farmers meeting for crop planning. Follow crop calendar. All society farmers should begin crop activities in the same period. In the beginning, completely drain out the water from the ponds. Check if the soil is black or smells. It means that the pond bottom is dirty and needs to be cleaned. If the soil is normal, in wet conditions, no need to remove any soil from the pond. 
it can be allowed to dry. Dry the pond for 15 to 30 days and plow. To avoid the spread of diseases through contamination by crabs and birds during the crop time, ensure that all farmers in the society install crab fence of two feet height and bird fencing covering all the ponds in the society. Fill the water using double layer of 60 mesh size nets at water inlet points. Frequently inspect the nets to ensure they are not damaged. This avoids the entry of wild animals to the ponds. Before stocking the seeds, hold water for 10 to 15 days. If the farm has a water reservoir, then hold the water in the reservoir for 7 days before pumping it to the grow out pond. Maintain at least 3 feet deep water in the shallowest part of the pond. Shallow water depths are highly stressful to shrimps due to quick change in temperature and other water conditions. The good pond water should be green or brown. To get that condition, stabilize the plankton bloom. Apply vermicompost 40 to 50 kg per hectare or even a mixture of 20 kg jaggery, 10 kg rice bran, 10 kg groundnut cake and half kg yeast after fermentation for two days per hectare. Also can use dolomite or agriculture lime at a rate of 100 kg per hectare. Do not heavily fertilize the water to get dark green water. It will reduce the oxygen in water, thus suffocating the shrimps. Transparent water for prolonged time is bad for the crop. Transparent water leads to development of benthic algae. Dead algae releases toxic gases in the water. Society, try to stock the seed from one contract hatchery. Under contract hatchery system, society farmers place bulk orders to a hatchery 30 to 45 days in advance of the planned stocking date. Mutual agreement is formed between selected hatcheries and societies about PCR and MBV screening of broods, single brooder spawning to reduce size difference and to get uniform sized shrimp at harvest. No use of banned antibiotics. Always purchase shrimp seeds from a registered and well-maintained hatchery. Body length of shrimp seeds should be more than 12 millimeters. Smaller size of seeds may not be ready for stocking and may result in poor survival. Shrimp seeds should have a muscle gut ratio of 4 is to 1 and well developed hepatopancreas and legs should be clean without any damaged or missed legs. Shrimp seed should be strong and active. To test this, collect about 500 seeds from the bottom of the hatchery seed tank and pour in a round tub. Stir the water. Wait for 2 to 3 minutes. If many seeds concentrate in the center without any movement, do not select that seed batch. Seeds must be healthy. To know whether the seeds are not sick, collect about 100 seeds and then send it to a shrimp health laboratory for disease testing. Do the PCR test. The seeds should be negative for white spot virus by PCR test. MBV infection can be easily tested 
by staining method. It can be detected with the help of a microscope. If MBV infection is very high, reject that seed batch. Salinity of seed tank water and pond water should be the same and should not differ by more than 5 ppt. Seed bags should have enough oxygen. Volume of the oxygen should be at least 3 times more than that of the water. Each bag should have about 1000 pl per liter of water. Transport the seeds from the hatchery to the farm site as quickly as possible. Seeds should be released into the ponds during cool hours of the day between 6 p.m. to 8 a.m. Acclimatize the seeds to pond temperature before releasing by keeping the seed bags floating in water for about 15 minutes. And then open the bag and slowly pour small quantities of the pond water over the next 10 minutes. Release the seeds to the deeper part of the pond. Always use good quality pellet feeds. Determine the feed pellet size based on the size of shrimps. Use feed check trays to estimate the feed demand by shrimps. Check the shrimps 2 hours after feeding. For initial 30 days, feed at least twice a day and after that, feed for 3 to 5 times a day. Spread the feed all over the pond using boat or floating device. Check the pond bottom soil on regular basis and avoid feeding in areas with black and badly smelling soil. Always store the feed bags in dry and dark places to maintain the freshness. Exchange the water carefully. Do not frequently exchange or intake the water. During the first two months, there should not be any water exchange. Starting second month, if necessary, water exchange can be done. But try to minimize it as much as possible. If water quality and the pond bottom are good, shrimps are healthy and growing well, there is no need to exchange water. Take the water in only when there is no disease in the farming area. Change the water only when the water quality is poor based on the tests carried out. Change 5 to 10 centimeters of water and add agriculture lime. Use agriculture lime after every water intake or exchange and after raining, lime acts as a buffering agent. Regularly check the water quality parameters. pH of the water should be in the range of 7.5 to 8.5. To measure this, use pH meter or universal liquid indicator. If the pH is lower than 7.5, then apply agriculture lime to increase the pH. If the pH is higher than 8.5, then add fermented mixture of jaggery, rice bran and yeast. The ideal water salinity for shrimp is 10 to 25 ppt. Refractometer is used to measure the salinity. Dissolved oxygen or DO concentration should be more than 4 ppm. DO meters can be used to measure the DO. If the oxygen level depletes in the pond, shrimp will start swimming near the water surface, especially during the early morning hours. Alkalinity should be between 80 to 120 ppm. Alkalinity instant test kit can be used to measure its concentration. Ammonia should be less than 0.5 ppm. Ammonia instant test kit can be used to measure its concentration. 
regularly monitor the shrimp's condition. Do it on a daily basis by collecting 10 to 15 shrimps from the feed check trays and on a weekly basis by collecting shrimps using cast nets. If the shell or gills of the shrimp are dirty, it means that the pond bottom where the shrimp stays is not clean. Exchange about 10 centimeters of water and apply agriculture lime. Write down pond daily record book every day. It helps to analyze the crop results. The pond daily record consists information on pond preparation details, seed resource, 